I'm late. Now, last year, I got a call from, uh, from the, uh, from, I think it was Channel 7. And they asked me about these, about the refund. Well, who's going to get re, uh, uh, a, um, a interest on their refund because they haven't paid it. And I gave them what the law was, what the rule was. They sat on the story for about two or three or four days. And when they aired the story that day, the IRS changed the rules and started saying, well, we're not going to wait the 45 days we're supposed to wait. We're going to give them the, re- the uh, we're going to go back to the original date and we're going to give people uh, interest on that date. The average interest in, here I have that story up, so let me look at that. <clears throat> so this is from last year. The average uh, to receive IRS tax refund interest, taxable payments to average $18. So is the convenience or the inconvenience of you not getting your refund worth $18? The answer is no, right? No, I'd rather have the refund than the $18 that they're trying to, that they're trying to pawn off on me to, you know, to, to make up for the time that the months that it's been since I haven't got my refund. But it's, it, I guess it beats a sharp stick in the eye, but not too much more, uh, my own opinion. <clears throat> so here's the here's a chart uh, individual income tax process by tax day in millions and you can see that the that they say it's over the average I find that hard to believe my own opinion clients are, of course sometimes are unfamiliar with why refunds might be delayed and incomplete erroneous return that's always the case even without covid if you have an if you have errors on your return it's going to delay it cuz now they can't be processed electronically they have to be processed by a person and that, that always is going to cause more problems. It's going to take it out of the regular, uh, the, the regular pipeline. Uh, situation kicking out computer generated notices. And this is what I mentioned this already. So I'm going to skip this. I explained the refunds were delayed because they were owed stimulus and we applied for the recovery rebate credit. And the IRS is taking forever to process and confirm the credit allowed versus the credit we calculated or delayed because we we had to file a paper return and the ad extends the processing time, probably to the next millennium. <laughs> not, not too much from, far from the truth. Okay, so, you know, there's a lot. Let me just go through here, um, see what else they have. Okay, so very, very similar. Again, I think that the last, they say two words, but it's more. It boils down to two words, but this isn't two words. Even with calling the IRS, there doesn't appear to be any way to speed up the process. The best advice we give the clients is to prompt is promptly respond to any notices from the IRS and be patient. Well, you really don't have a choice. And that's why I said, what's a, what's a taxpayer to do? Be patient. You really don't have any other choice. That's all. That's what you have to do. Why your delayed tax refund could mean more money back from the IRS. And this is just a story about interest, right? So this, they're going to pay some interest. Uh, if you found waiting for the, to wa- receive your uh, tax refund, the good news is that it's likely not because there's something wrong with your filing. The bad news is it's probably because the internal revenue surf- is simply overwhelmed from a bunch of different reasons, pandemic related and not, and that it could be some time before you get the cash from the government owes you. The end result, millions of Americans are currently being left waiting to receive their re- re- returns. I think they mean refunds, just like those waiting for their stimulus checks. And when you consider that the average value of a tax re- return, and again, I think they mean refund, last year was $2,873, hundreds of millions of dollars being kept out of the economy. Here's what you should know about the mess. What's causing it? What's causing the delay? The short answer, the IRS is being asked to do more with less. And I, I, don't, I don't know if that's true. I don't buy that they're doing more with less. Uh, we talked about this and why we, I think the electronic filing has given them more to do more with more and not with less. That's my argument. I'm going to stick to it. Uh, the IRS is being asked to do all kinds of extra. Well, it is true that the, the stimulus checks, the, the fact that the IRS changed the, the, um, the rules when it comes to unemployment, because unemployment benefits are generally taxable. The IRS, after the IRS, when people put in their, their um, initial tax returns early in the year, they were still taxable. So the IRS, you paid a tax on it. And then Congress changed the, the rule retroactively. So the IRS had to go back and, and manually reprocess those re, returns that had, um, that had the uh, refund or the um, unemployment on there. So you had the unemployment, you paid tax on it, and now the IRS had to give you a refund and they had to rework your return for that, to give you that refund. Uh, and that took time. And then I guess, obviously the stimulus checks 
and and then the earned income payments that they're sending out once a month. That's also on the IRS back. And again, COVID, and that's always the reason. Why can't what can taxpayers do? All of these changes mean that calls to the agency have no more has have more than doubled according to its commissioner, sometimes speaking at fifteen hundred calls per second. Only two percent of the phone calls to the main IRS hotline are getting through. I'm gonna repeat that. Two percent that's a lot less than I said. I said fifteen percent. Only two percent of the phone calls to the main IRS hotline are getting through. And even those lucky enough to speak to someone likely won't find an answer about their refund. Now, you can go on to irs.com and tra- uh, .gov and track your refund. It'd be probably be- uh, more, it'd be a better way, uh, use of your time because getting on the phone with the IRS, if you're one of the 2%, you're going to be on hold for a long time until they can get to you. The better thing to do is to use the agency's Where's My Refund tool. That's what I just suggested. Will taxpayers facing 